What's going on everyone, Drew here. Today, let's just talk about something I get asked often. I've made videos on this in the past, but let's talk about ways to get leads for your business. I'm gonna go over pretty much everything I know. Um, they're gonna be free leads, they're gonna be paid leads, and that's pretty much the difference. I highly recommend you to explore every single way to get free leads all the time. It's free, it costs you nothing, but in return, since it's free, you have to sacrifice some of your time, right? Versus where the paid leads, you get most of your time back, but you have to pay for it. So it's kind of a, that's just the way that is structured. So let's just go over the free leads, but before we do, you guys, please make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, helps the channel out a lot. I look at my analytics and there are so many people that watch these videos that don't subscribe. We do giveaways from time to time on the channel. We just give away 10 free double-sided props worth basically $115 on our website. So let's get into this uh, free leads. All right, first one would be your own personal social media accounts. You will be surprised if you post, let people know that follow you, your friends with, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of the profiles, tell the world, be proud about it. Hey, I'm Drew, I, I just opened up a photo booth rental company, or if you've had your company, you could say, we've been in business for X amount of years. Um, I would love to be the photo booth for your event. Message me, I have exclusive discount and deals for you. If you wanna offer exclusives, the I do, I think the exclusive deals help bring people into the door. That is a free way to get leads. Um, another one, it's probably my favorite out of all of the free leads is networking. And I'm talking about network with other photo booth owners, right, in your area, um, even, if they, even if they have something that you're not providing, right? Let's just say you operate an iPad photo booth business and, you know, link up with a 360 photo booth rental owner because there will be times where you get asked for services that are in the photo booth realm that you don't provide, but having these connections will help and it'll actually make you money. So imagine this, you know, you get a lead, someone is asking for a 360 booth rental, you've already done this work, you know a, a guy in your area, guy or girl, that have a 360 booth. You can then refer them to that person and exchange, take some money off the top of the deal. But when I say you're networking, you guys, make sure you're building solid relationships. You can't just, you know, it's not beneficial to you to just work with anyone. Make sure you've done your research, you looked at their website, they have reviews, you've talked to them, and build solid relationships. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, just network with everyone in the photo booth realm in your area. Also doing this, you guys, networking, is also gonna help you understand what other people are charging in your area, which is very important to know. So that is very important. So other photo booth operators, network with them. Um, network with DJs. DJs get asked about photo booth services all the time. I know for a fact because I sell a ton of photo booths to DJs. They add it on to their services, but there are plenty of DJs that do not have photo booths and they get asked all the time. So that's really important. DJs, um, event planners, wedding coordinators, they, think about it, they are in contact with the people that will hire you for their events. You know, we have one wedding planner that keeps us busy throughout the year. Literally guys, I think last year, maybe we did 30 events for her and I got that contact by just literally sending a message on Instagram saying, my name is Drew, um, this is our company, I would love to offer your clients exclusive deals that they can't get anywhere else just because they booked with you. That email has made me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and the great part about networking this way is all the footwork and all the energy it takes to get a lead finishes once you make that contact, once you start working with them because they're gonna become your sales rep. They're gonna promote your services to their clients. You don't have to explain pricing usually and um, you don't have to do as much work. So they're, think of it as a sales, a sales rep that you don't have to pay that will do the work for you. So, you know, event planners, wedding planners, coordinators, however you wanna say it. Venues, reaching out to venues is important because you know there's something called a vendor list that most venues have. It's a list of people that offer services that they go down and they give that list to people interested in booking their venue. So to become a preferred vendor, you guys, it's as easy as making contact, uh, call, email, however you, know, you have to and just introduce yourself. And it's the same thing. They don't want money, usually. They would prefer having exclusive deals for their customers Customers. They don't really want to get into the photo booth business because once they accept money from you, they become responsible for anything. So half the time, not even half the time, most of the time, they prefer uh, it to be separate and they'll call you a preferred vendor. 
you know, you can network with anyone really, who, bartenders, right? Mobile bartenders, um, catering companies, you'll be surprised, right? Um, another thing I don't think is talked about a lot is reaching out to rental companies. Um, not like photo booth companies, there are a lot of companies that do chairs, tables, tents, and they get asked all the time too, do you have photo booths? And they, most of them don't. So just, you know, it's endless, right? But you guys, remember, it's not as easy as I'm saying. You have to put the time in. It's gonna take time because you're not spending money, but it's gonna take you your valuable time. And it's just one of those things you have to do. Um, you know, we, you know, back in the day, I was probably three to four hours a day, maybe like three to four days a week doing this. And it's paid off immensely, man. I mean, we don't have to do as much marketing and we don't have to spend as much money on marketing because we get enough business that way to cover us and allow us to run our business. So other ways to post, um, social media, I mentioned that. I think YouTube is very underrated. Video content is everything. Like, oh, look at me, I'm on YouTube, right? <laughs> so, you know, one thing you can do is if you already are in the business and you're getting leads and you have an event, let's just say it's at a venue, let's call it the Bismarck the Bismarck, right? That's the name of the venue. So if you're there setting up your photo booth, you guys make a video, right? You have your setup, get your camera out. Hey, Drew here, I am at the Bismarck. You know, you could say in Cypress, California, and we have our photo booth set up here and just give a tour of the, the booth, give a tour of the venue and talk about this venue in particular. Like this venue is great. The photo booth fits here perfectly. The staff is amazing. And um, if you guys are interested in booking our services and if you guys are getting, you know, I'm just talking as, a, as I would if I'm in the video, just basically show that you're at the venue, long story short. And if anyone is considered getting married or having any type of event, uh, event at that venue, that you've been there, you have experience and you can take care of them. Post that to YouTube, make a YouTube account for your business, and then put in the title, um, photo, uh, our photo booth company at the Bismarck in Norwalk, California, and you'll be surprised how many people will search on YouTube about potential venues that they wanna have their parties at, right, or their events. And we've gone plenty of events this way, uh, gigs, I mean, hired. Um, people wanna do research, and if they see your video and they see that you're actually there, at the venue and you know the venue, they may lean towards you because it's like, hey, this person's been here before. They, you know, I've seen the setup, they're familiar with it. And to, you know, like I always mention, reverse engineer it, right? Think of yourself as someone that's interested. And let's just say they see your video, but they also get another quote from another company. You could potentially still have a higher rate than them and they may still go with you for the simple fact that you've been there, you know it. And you know, for a wedding, um, you know, people don't want issues. And if you've been there already, that's less of a potential issue. So that is huge. TikTok videos, everything, man. I mean, do it all. Get your personal accounts going. Get your business account going. Facebook, Instagram, and post, 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 post. Because a lot of times people don't even care you have a website. Half the, like I would say like 30% of our customers are want to see our social media. They want to see that we're in business. They want to see what kind of photos we can do. They want to see boomerang video, gifts. They want to see it all. So having your business stuff set up is crucial. Some other free ways to get leads it is, um, I guess you could say this would be a hack is going to OfferUp. OfferUp is an app you can download on your phone. It's a place where people sell items. You can see how close they are. You can make offers on it. But what you can do is make a post on OfferUp for your photo booth rental services. But it's against policy to put rental in the description or in the title. So usually how we did it is we just put photo booth and then in the description we just put uh, for any occasion and then usually people will message you um, about it and then that's where you can you know start that conversation hey it's a rental um, you know sometimes people will think it's for sale but about 80 percent of the time it's people searching for rentals um, same thing goes for facebook marketplace you could do that the same way um, craigslist is another place to post it's free they also have a section under services where you can post for services also, I did forget to mention, um, my Google business is crucial. It's free. You can make a my business account and you'll be surprised how much um, traffic you get from that. Um, I, I mean, if you don't have a my Google business account, you are leaving money on the table, you guys. It can take you up to 10 to 15 minutes. Let's go towards paid events or paid leads, I guess. Um, Google, Google is probably the one I hear all the time. Um, you know, we just recently started doing another campaign on Google. It's effective, it is costly, but you know, 
having Google ads versus Facebook ads, right? The big difference is people that are searching on Google people that find you on Google are searching for photo booth rentals. So yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but they're actually looking for it. Versus Facebook, when they see your ad, it's not like they typed on Facebook photo booth. They saw your ad because you know, that's what you paid for. They, they basically just promote it to more people. And you know, if you, do the, if you do your Facebook ad right, you could still get good returns, but Google is more efficient. You're, gonna have to, you're, you're most likely gonna talk to less people on Google and get leads versus Facebook. So, you know, I hope that doesn't discourage you. I, you know, we ran our business strictly on Facebook for the longest time and it is, it works. You just gotta make sure, just like Google, that you have the correct stuff set up. Um, you'll be, <laughs> I, I ran into a lot of photo booth owners in Florida, some in um, North Carolina, and their Facebook ads were showing to me in California. They didn't set it up right, so they're wasting money. Another way to get leads by paying is doing shows. You have quinceanera expos, wedding expos, all types of different expos where you can pay to be a vendor, you pay for a space at an event, and they have, you know, this expo, so people are coming to this expo, and, you know, they may need a photo booth. So if it's for a quinceanera expo, you know, it may cost you $1,500 to be there, but then let's just say potentially $3,200 um, people going to that event. So that is a little risky. Um, I know plenty of people that do it and have success, but my personal opinion, I don't like the idea of having to pay that much and actually having to go to get leads. It could work. Um, I know plenty of people that do, but me personally, I don't want to have to spend that time. You know, the money is not that big of an issue because, you know, you could spend 1500, but you could potentially get 20 grand worth of, uh, you know, events. But to me, I just, you know, Eh, I'm not gonna do it, but it's an option. You know, the same thing with the wedding. It's it, a lot of people coming in and you know, at these expos, a lot of these people have a lot of money. You know, they're willing to pay for the bells and whistles. So that, that is a perk. But again, guys, I just don't want to have to be there. Uh, that's my own opinion. But if you're starting off and you're willing to put the time in to go to these venue, uh, these, these events, and you're willing to pay a little bit money for like pamphlets, banners, and signs, it could definitely be lucrative. Next up is a website called Gig Salad. There are plenty of other websites similar to this. It's a place where people go to Gig Salad looking for vendors and you have to pay to be able to get in contact with these people. I personally have had bad experience with this, but I know some people that have had good experiences with it. It does cost. Um, there are, uh, there's another place called um, The Knot. It's like a website that has like vendors um, for people that are getting married, like photo boothers, DJs, hosts, catering companies. I don't like the uh, the pricing of it. I think it's a little too expensive. But again, I know some people in some areas that love it. They love it, but for me, this is something I definitely avoid. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything I missed and there is one that I didn't include in this video, leave it in the comments, let me know. I wanna see who's watching, who's paying attention. So in the comments, let me know. And again, if you are interested in starting your own photo booth company, we have a company called Photo Booth 101. We sell photo booth shells, backdrops, props, uh, photo booth printers, the list goes on. And most importantly, you get set up for success. If you're just starting off, you get sample contracts, booking forms, bunch of other great assets, and you get added to our private group chat that is filled with other photo booth entrepreneurs. It's a place to learn, and it's also a great place to network. For example, yesterday, there was an event um, someone got hired for, they can't do it, so they went to the group chat to see if someone else can do it. So it's a great place to be. And again, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take care.